really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it mm -hmm. had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Yes, the show, as always, is pretty international today because I have guests from three continents also, and they're all here because they want to ensure that the Nigerian invent planning industry begins to be as coordinated as it should be to make the best of it. It's all about creativity today, it's all about event planning, and it's all about deciding if you have the innate ability to get the best of the skills that you have when it comes to event planning. I'll be right back with my guests, if you don't go away on Seriously Speaking, today. Welcome back. A Tinuda happened in Nigeria, in Lagos, in June, and the whole place was buzzing. But guess what? It was buzzing not only because of what happened, but because of the people that came to make it happen. And I have four of them sitting here with me in the studio. I'm just going to do this long shot, and I'm going to introduce... I think I'm going to start with Preston, because he's the only one that's bold here. <laughs> <laughs> Preston Surely. Bailey, the one and the only Preston Bailey right here in Lagos. You're welcome. The bold one. The bold one. <laughs> <laughs> and then on his left is um, Shei. You know, yes, Shei is an expert when it comes to destination weddings. Everybody knows in Nigeria, mm -hmm. that's Shei. When is the next, where is the next destination you're taking people to? To the UK. Oh. <laughs> That's exotic, you know? <laughs> it's destiny. Okay, I'm going to go to the UK here. All the way from the UK, mm -hmm. I have Nigerian-born British cake designer, top cake designer, and it's my pleasure to have Mrs. Um, Elizabeth Solari. Elizabeth. I keep forgetting the English name. You know, Elizabeth. <laughs> Sholaru. Sholaru. Ah, what's happening to my name today? But it's good. It's nice to have you. Thank you. And then the last but not the least, the only Oyimbo in the house. <laughs> did, did I, has anybody called you Oyimbo since you've been here? No. Do you know what Oyimbo means? I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Oyimbo means white girl or white ah. woman or white, you know. Now how do you say that? Oyimbo. Oyimbo, okay, that's right. <laughs> you see what I mean, Oyimbo. Mm -hmm. Masi Blum is a world-renowned, based in New York, world-renowned um, event planner. I'm going to start with Marcy. Were you shocked as you landed in Nigeria, Lagos, the night you came? Uh, was I shocked? No, yes. I, I, you know, I was, um, I wasn't sure what to expect. So there was certainly a lot of security around. And, uh, you know, it's not just being, uh, it's not just <laughs> Nigeria, it's being any other place but New York. In New York, people are so impatient that things get done really quickly. Mm -hmm. So here they were like, la, 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 you know? <laughs> and, and you just have to readjust where, wherever you are to the pace that they are. So other than that, no. I, fi I find that very brave because your first time in Nigeria and also it's your first time in Nigeria. No. Actually, it's my second time. Second time, My yes. bodyguard, so I was yeah. curious. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got experience already. That's what I do, I do. I got mm -hmm. the experience with the airport. One of the things that I loved best was my police escort as I drove <laughs> down. This time around. I spent very important. It's like, wow, we got police escorts. So that was really that was cool. That was fun, actually. Well, this time you, come in, you came to teach. And uh, I find it interesting, though. You're described as a world-renowned event designer. It means there's a difference between the design. I want to assume there's a difference between the designer and a planner. There's a Preston. lot of confusion about that. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, there are two different muscles. A designer is a person that comes in and takes care of every aspect of beauty, of logistic in an event. And a planner, like my good friend Marcy here, she takes care of all of the, to get people from point A to B. She's the troubleshooter. She really has the big job. That mm -hmm. is the job that I, that I think could be incredibly challenging. You're dealing with these brides and this tension, but, but you know, so that's the difference. I care, I take care of the beautiful part. She takes care the of it really. Part, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because it's like you guys work so well together. Mm -hmm. Marcy tells me, Preston asked, and I came, right? You know, it means you work together forever. You spent about 10 years in this industry. Yes. You started off as a restauranter. I was a restaurant, yeah, restaurateur, oh. I was a chef, I was a cooking teacher, I've been, um, but I came at it from, the culinary side of okay, events. So, so how is event planning? How did it become something for you? And what's the key about planning an event? 
I think people are very naive who go into the business. There's tons of people who find it really glamorous or th mm. imagine it's really glamorous. Yeah. Or, <laughs> wow, that looks like so much fun. You're hanging around with celebrities and... Um, you guys have done a number of celebrities, man. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> That's why we look so tired. And, um, but uh, the truth of the matter is, is I never thought, I thought, well, I know something about flowers, and I know something about design, and I know something about food, so this is great. I, I can make parties. I had no idea I'd have to learn how much air conditioning is necessary in a tent or how many toilets you need for how many people or uh, what to do when the bride's father is bringing his new young wife and the bride's mother is suicidal. Do you know, I, I didn't know any of that. I thought it would be a lot easier. And, and I still, every day, I'm like, well, I didn't know that either. So it's a steep learning curve. And uh, it's, a, it's a real renaissance business in the sense that you have to know a little bit about all sorts of things you wouldn't imagine. So when you guys started from, you learned the ropes along the way. Now you're teaching people. I wonder, though, what your experience would be, Elizabeth, because you bake cakes for royalty, but that's just one aspect of a business. Do you realize how important it is to have a good planner and a good designer to work with? Absolutely, um, especially when you're working on events at a certain level. There are certain events I won't do if there's no planner. Um, and the reason being, um, a lot of things can go wrong, and it's not how amazing an event looks, it's how much work has gone into making sure that everything has been put in place so that my job is made easier. Um, an amazing- It's just a cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's true, it, it really is just a cake. But as I say, the cake is the only guest at the wedding with its own table. <laughs> Very special. That's a great like line, that. I'm gonna like use that. that. Um, <laughs> the, cake, the cake is the only guest um, at the wedding that all eyes are on. You know, one of the first duties of a bride and groom is to cut the wedding cake. So all eyes will be on that. So they'll have at least, if there's 200 guests, that's 200 mo ah. mobile phones, 200 pairs of eyes. Oh, okay, pardon me. <laughs> you get it. The cake is the king. <laughs> the cake is the king. You know, what Elizabeth said about not doing any event that doesn't have a planner, mm. you like At a certain here, level. You wouldn't like at a certain level yeah, because certain it makes, level. you know, yeah. you, or as you go crazy. That's right. right. No, we've gotten a place in Nigeria. You live here. You yeah. know that these days it's like institution saying, oh, who's planning your wedding? You yeah. know, are they thinking about what is needed? Well, I'm a planner. You, in terms of the planners in Nigeria? Yes. Um, I haven't worked with many plaz planners, I must say, but um, I think people are doing their best um, in a very difficult environment. Um, however, I think more could be done in terms of um, acquiring skills. Which is um, why they're here. Yes, this is where, <laughs> we, you know, where we come in. And um, also networking and going out to, not only to learn, but to meet people, to to get a bit of exposure as well. Um, I remember when I started my business, and I'm sure as with everyone else, I, I knew from the beginning that I needed to step out of my comfort zone, go out there and see what people are doing, mm. get, in, you know, get ideas from them and share my own ideas as well. And I must say that um, in doing that, it's kind of broad, broadened my, my, my mindset and my mm -hmm. perspective mm -hmm. uh, to the business. I like that, I like that. And that's a good place for me to take a break because I want to engage all of you along with the person who was responsible for bringing you together. Because obviously she saw a need. People might be looking at her and they're kind of competition is this, but this industry is big enough. There's no competition. We just key into what's important. That's what you guys are saying. Thank you very much, I'll take a break. And we'll be right back on set with the person who's responsible for bringing all these people together in Lagos in June. We'll be back. So that's me back on studio with the one and only Preston Bailey. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to hurt. And then, of course, Elizabeth is still here. <laughs> Mars is here, my own evil friend. And then, of course, she's here. But somebody else has joined us. She promised me that she wouldn't talk. She begged me not to speak. But I said, you can't do this without having her on set because she's the mother the creator of what happened that brought all of these houses, all of these people to my house today. And um, that's Airi. We all call her AY. AY. <laughs> who calls you AY, your husband or your, who gave you AY in the first place? Well, I think that started from the bank, when I was in the banking industry. Because Airi, if not pronounced rightly in Yoruba language, means someone who's man, who's Ooh. gone. <laughs> who, 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 who. Oh, so, so, so you went for the so AY. So avoid that, I just said, you know what, just call me AY. <laughs> <laughs> so that AY, you decided, this is the second, in June, you had the second edition of yes. the Atinuda. Yes, right. right. I know you're not Yoruba. You're married to Yoruba boy. Yes, I'm married to Yoruba. <laughs> and now you've <laughs> turned Yoruba to yourself. Atinuda means what? Atinuda means born out of creativity. Um, 
when we came up with the vision, we really were looking for something different and unique. Um, and I also wanted um, to you to bring it back home. Um, so we, which was bring why what back home? The creativity. Whole concept, yes, that creativity is come from here. And yes, and uh -huh. then of course, when you when you hear Tinuda, it makes you think twice. Okay, what is it all about? What does it mean? Um, and I think that was for us. Till now, that's what happens. Everyone when you hear Tinuda, what's Tinuda all about? You know, share the vision Curiosity with us. Factor. Yes, and and that was for me was what was key. Um, and so far, I think we've done a good job. No, I, I want to go to Marcy here. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, Tinuda has brought you all the way from New York, brought you with Preston Bailey. Yes, that couldn't have been cheap, could it? I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I do is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that tell you about the passion that this young woman has trying to do this? We're talking about that young woman, not this young woman. <laughs> no, 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 but I A -Y. know. No, AY, is that what you're trying? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, I mean, I, I think... Uh, We've been talking about it at lunch today and all that. It's emotional generosity. It's, it's a sense, you're either a generous person or you're, or you're not. not. Right. And it has to do with your intellect and your emotions and finances and your business and everything else. There are people who are just not generous and then you meet someone like this and you can tell from the moment you meet her, she is just a giving soul. So I, I can only imagine that as someone who's prominent in the industry here, she is trying to, to give do. them a, a very big gift, actually, of, of, of getting a, a global perspective, which really should impact their businesses enormously. In recent times, you know, Elizabeth, I heard people saying, oh, she did the cake for the Lackage's wedding. You know, it's like, do you drop names so that you can intimidate other people? Or, you know, how do you see competition? Um, never. I mean, for me, I, I don't think I have to name drop to... Um, get attention to call attention if you have to name drop to call attention to your work mm -hmm. that means it's not world class enough that means it's not good enough in the first place mm -hmm. um, there is a way though of presenting your work without having to name drop competition is actually quite good if it's healthy what's and healthy competition healthy competition is people who are pushing the boundaries who are maintaining standards and who are not slandering other people's work okay. That's the key, slandering that other is the key. So, so that is healthy competition. So do you think that the clients in Nigeria are discerning enough to know that, I mean, I want something different, and so I'm going to go for this designer, I mean, this planner or that planner? I think at a certain level, you'll find that people are quite savvy. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're well-traveled. They, they, and also have their clo close networks. For instance, I, I'm not um, really, really big on social media, but there's a, like a close to network, be. I know. <laughs> However, what I'm saying is that that still doesn't stop me from getting the right kind of work. If you see what I mean, if you're within a certain close network of people where mm -hmm. you've established yourself, you've um, proven yourself to them, and they know the quality of your work, it's by referral, such and such is such and such for so, me. Yeah, it's, it's really about that. So which is why, you know, what you're trying to do here, you're a planner, you're trying to empower other planners. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, it. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You could have just gone to pressing and learn yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, uh -huh. I mean, there's a lady who said something to me, um, Ozo Adia, yeah, the CEO of Flower Plus. She said something to me, she said, Ari birds never collide in the sky, that there's just more than enough room for us to all operate. And I think at a point in time, you just, you just realize that you just need to give. I mean, your life just has to have meaning of some sort. And, it costs and money, though. Yes, it does. But I, I believe that people with time will begin to understand the overall vision of Atinuda. So it's here to stay? It's here to stay. It's happening again next year? Yes, it's and happening year next year, by the grace of God, in the month of June. Um, in 2018, it will happen again. So um, for us, we just want to empower the event industry so mm -hmm. that we are at, at par with the international organization. We are able to deliver events at international standard all the time, no matter where we are. It's been uh, fun having you all. I appreciate you. your time. You I don't so know much. how much it's all six of us and there's my little panel table. <laughs> but we've table. done it. If nothing at all, you must remember that our race in life is a marathon. You've got to remember that you put your guests first and then again, they work so hard, pay them right. Yes. <laughs> but make sure that you keep the confidence that they have in you. And what? And the trust. 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 It's all about trust. So it's all about trust. You trust. Always on Seriously Speaking, we discuss issues that make your life better. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye from everybody. Bye. <laughs>